Hello everybody. We are in mensuration that is exercise 20A. Okay. And we shall start with number 20 because the previous has already been uploaded. So here we are dealing with circle. Okay. The entire sum from 20 to 25 are based on circle. So we will be browsing it quickly. Let us see what they say. They say that the circumference of a circle means they are talking about a circle and they are talking about a circumference also. Isn't it? So the circumference of this circle is equal to 8 times the 8 times the circumference of this particular circle means and they have also given you the radius as r is equal to 12 centimeter fine so what this there shouldn't be any problem the c1 here if the circumference is c1 that should be equal to 8 times c2 okay so c1 is equal to how much 2 pi r 2 into pi into r r i do not know so this is my radius r is equal to 8 times c2 that is 2 pi r 2 a pi r r is already 12 now let us see it becomes easier when you search the same sum on the net naturally it is too lengthy pi pi here your 2 and 2 also gets cancelled so my dear r is equal to 8 into 12 is equal to 96 centimeter they had asked us the diameter so diameter is equal to how much 2 times radius 2 times radius is equal to 2 times 96 means 6 twos are 12, 9 twos are 18, 192 centimeter. Okay, without wasting our time, let us move further to number 21. And here, my dear, this 21 says that red eye of two circles, red eye, once again, R A D I I means it is the plural of radius. Okay, plural of radius. Radius means one, red eye means they are talking about more than one. Therefore, in number 21, they says the red eye of two circles are in the ratio 3 is to 5. For example, let us consider these two circles, one and the other one over here. Okay, here they say that R1, if the radius over here is R1 and here if the radius is R2, they are talking about R1 is to R2 as how much that this is equal to your 3 is to 5 okay this means your r1 is 3 and your r2 is 5 clear no sir r1 is to r2 is equal to 3 is to 5 means your radius that is r1 is equal to 3x and your r2 is equal to 5x so you will have to take a common factor between them whenever the ratio is given okay find the ratio between the circumference we are being asked to find the ratio between their circumference that is c1 by c2 the circumference of this one is c1 while the circumference of this one is c2 so c1 by c2 let us put this in our formula 2 pi r that is 2 pi r1 the circumference of this one similarly 2 pi r2 2 pi r2 that is the other circle now let us see so if you view it observe it you can see that this 2 pi cancels so you so show your c1 c1 by c2 will be equal to 3x by 5x not 3 by 5 3x by 5x now on cancellation of x you will get 3 by 5 but this is not your answer they had asked you the ratio so your answer should be in a ratio that is c1 is to c2 will be equal to 3 is to 5 is our solution okay come to the next one that is number 22 the circumference of two circles are in the ratio 5 is to 7 okay this time they have given you the circumference. Previously they had given you the radius. Here 
they have given you the circumference means in number 22 they have given you that c1 by c2 is equal to 5 by 7 okay better let us write in this way that is c1 is to c2 otherwise c1 is to c2 is equal to 5 is to 7 so naturally my c1 will be equal to 5x and my c2 that, that is the other circumference will be equal to 7x clear they are saying that you find the ratio between their radius r1 by r2 they are asking us to find the ratio between their radius that is r1 is to r2 they are asking us this one okay so let us put this in the formula c1 by c2 okay c1 by c2 can be written as c1 by c2 can be written as 5 by 7 okay c1 by c2 can be written as 5 by 7 or 5x by 7x that will give you 5 by 7 now c1 is equal to how much 2 pi r1 and c2 is equal to 2 pi r2 okay you can directly start from here also okay without taking x over here and directly put the formula is equal to 5 by 7 okay now let us cancel and you will get r1 by r2 r1 by r2 is equal to 5 by 7 which is not our answer r1 is to r2 is equal to 5 is to 7 they had asked us the radius the ratio between their radius okay perimeter of two squares when we come to number 23 so perimeter of two squares are in the ratio 8 is to 15 do you remember square do you remember square whose all sides are equal so naturally if its side is a the so all sides will be a a a and the perimeter will be equal to a plus a plus a plus a will be equal to 4a so perimeter of square is equal to 4a so they are talking about the perimeter of two squares okay whose two squares this is one square and this is the other square okay other square you need not to draw the figure if you it is better the perimeter of two squares are in the ratio 8 is to 15 this means if its perimeter is p1 and if its perimeter is p2 so they are saying that p1 by p2 is equal to 8 by 15 p1 by p2 is equal to 8 by 15 ratio of 2 is equal to 8 is to 15 find the ratio between their sides naturally if this is p1 the side will be a1 and here the side will be a2 means some other side so they are asking us that find a1 is to a2 so let us put here let us put or let us uh, uh, break this one that is p1 and p2 p1 can be written as 4a a1 and p2 can be written as 4a2 is equal to 8 by 15 so see oh my god oh my god so a1 a1 is to a2 is equal to 8 is to 15 so simple as anything okay so that is why i said that there are many things which have been made complicated on the net isn't it i have just put the values and i got our values okay the correct values now few more sums that is 24 and 25 so please stay tuned okay the length of two sides of the squares are in the ratio the length of the sides of two squares okay very good so they say that if the side is a1 over here and for the other square if the side is a2 this is also the other square whose all sides are equal and this is my a2 for example so they are saying the length of the sides of two squares are in the ratio a is to 15 means here a1 is to a2 they have given us as 8 is to 15 very good 
find the ratio between their perimeter. So naturally here a1 is to a2 is equal to 8 is to 15. So my a1 will be side will be equal to 8 x and my a2 will be equal to 15 x. See the ratio here is 8 is to 15. But when we are talking about the value of the sides you will have to take common between them. So I have taken common x over there here. So a1 is equal to 8x and a2 is equal to 15x. Done. Find, find what? So find p1 by p2. Find the ratio between their perimeter. So p1 will be equal to how much? 4a1 and here p2 will be equal to 4 into a2. This dot resembles multiplication. So come on. 4 into a1 is my 8x and a2 is equal to 15x. So see here 4 for cancels. Your x also gets cancelled and you get 8 by 15. So 8 is to 15 that is p1 is to p2 is equal to 8 is to 15 as your solution. Isn't it? Come on. Number 25. Each side of a square is 44 centimeter. Okay. Each side of a square is 44 centimeter. Very good. So I know the perimeter 44 into 4. Find its perimeter. So here in number 25. Side of a square. Side of a square is given as 44 centimeter. So my perimeter will be equal to 4 into side. So 4 into side means 4 into 44 is equal to how much? 16, 176 centimeter. So find its perimeter. So first part is done. If this perimeter is equal to the circumference of a circle, they are saying that if this 176 is equal to the circumference of a circle means if this is equal to 2 pi r means they actually they are saying that if this side of this square if the length of the square is given a shape of a circle actually it means if this perimeter is equal to circumference of the circle means if the sides of the square is given a shape of a circle find the radius of the circle. So come on, I have already put this into the formula. So 176 is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into r. Because the value of pi is taken as 22 by 7. Okay. Now, before I write this, since I do not want you to get confused. So you can write in this, in this way, 2 pi r is equal to 176. Actually, we have a habit. Okay we have a habit to put the entire material towards the right hand side. Means the value will always be found on the right hand side. So if you practice the opposite way, naturally that will save more time. I could have done there only. So my dear, 2 into 22 by 7 into R is equal to 176. So my value of R will be equal to 176. The 7 will get multiplied while 2 into 22 will be here. Okay. Naturally, both these numbers will cancel with 2 and 11 also because here look at the sum of the odd and the even terms. 1 plus 6, 7 and 7 is already here. So the sum of odd terms is 7 and the sum of even term is also 7. So, however, let me, let me cancel with 2. So 2 how many times? 2, 8 times 16. 2, 8 times 16, 2, 8 times 16 and 22, 4 times. Okay. So here we will get R is equal to 7 times 4 is equal to 28 centimeter which they had asked. So this was I hope loud and clear. Okay. So stay tuned for exercise 20B. Thank you my dear.